What's up everyone? This is Christian Jeep from strengthaddicts.com brought to you proudly by ironmaglabs.com, your go-to source for all your bodybuilding and fitness supplements. I've said it once, I'll say it again. I probably will have to say it many more times. Dallas McCarver, do not do any more competitions. However, if you have prior commitments, of course, meet those commitments as a consummate professional that you are. If you have to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, then do so. I think runner-up the Arnold should be enough. But if it's not, I get it. If you have to qualify, you have to qualify. But in terms of momentum, getting runner-up in Columbus and getting runner-up in New Zealand is all the momentum you need. The win is not what's most important. What's most important is that you give yourself a fighting chance, that you give your body a rest, and that you give yourself enough time to train and prepare for the Mr. Olympia. That's all that matters. In bodybuilding, that's all that matters. I mean, all the competitions you do are important and you wanna take those very seriously. And you can't if you're thinking about the Mr. Olympia. So I just wanna stress as a writer, as a fan, as a commentator, as a bald guy on a video, I just wanna really stress that you know this quest to get a first place, if there is even a quest to get first place, is not necessary. I don't care what coaches say, I don't care what sponsors say, at the end of the day, it's about the athlete. Like Peter McGuff said, it's about the athletes. And I don't wanna you know, mischaracterize what Peter said, but I'm using it in my own context to say this. It's not about winning the show, it's not about the sponsor, and it's not about the coaches. It's about the Mr. Olympia. And to have the best Mr. Olympia, you need to give yourself a break. And if you keep doing show after show after show, you're going to have what happened in Australia. We have respiratory problems. You have to drop out of the shows. It looks bad in the press. It looks bad for the fans. It looks bad for the sponsors. It looks bad for the coaches. There's a lot of questions that arise. People don't know what's going on. And in bodybuilding, you know, whenever somebody drops out of a show, they always assume it's kidney issues. They always assume that you have you know, some sort of an illness. They always like to exacerbate and they always like to exaggerate. And, you know, and it may just very well be a respiratory issue but the reality of the matter is is that you, you don't want to put yourself in a position to give people you know room to speculate you know because your private medical history is your private medical history you don't have to discuss that but the fact that you won't discuss it gives the trolls on the message boards it gives the people speculating sort of a more room to sort of carry on and you just don't want that so overall what you don't want is you don't want to run yourself ragged I guess that's really what I'm trying to say and um, unless you have to qualify for the O or you have prior commitments, again, just as a fan, just stressing, give yourself a break, give yourself a fighting chance, and don't do competition after competition. I've seen many bodybuilders do this over the years. It never ends well.